name is Edward Kinsella. I'm a freelance illustrator. I've been a freelancer for about 12 years, and I do a mix of editorial, um, book covers, interior book work, advertising, um, posters. Yeah, sort of a, a big mix. But it's been been 12 years now. I've done. It. I can't believe I've lasted this long. <laughs> 4,000 something entries um, it's you know it, I feel like oftentimes it's obvious to see the gap in ability and then you're judging all the pieces that are really great usually right off the bat you can say okay the colors bad in this one so it's a no or the compositions bad so it's a no um, but there's so many that are really good that that's where the difficulty lies you know especially in the ones that you're gonna say okay this is a an award contender so I find uh, it's it's taken a lot of consideration for sure I know <laughs> I don't want to crush any dreams you know because I, I remember what it was like to be starting out and, and submitting um, so I don't I, that said I don't want to you know give a handout to someone who doesn't deserve it yet, you know, with their work. So the work has to be good to get into the book. I think that's, you know, that's our job too as the judges to decide, you know, is it good enough? How good is the book gonna be? It's up to us, I think it's important, so. The first time I submitted was, um, I guess it was the first year of my career, you know, and I, I remember every year I'm just hoping that I do some editorial piece or some book piece that has a fantasy or sci-fi element because I try to keep I try to keep my art you know sort of separated if, if it doesn't have a fantasy element to it I'm not going to submit it to the book um, even if it's just decisions that I've made about um, style or color or something that takes it into another place then I'll say okay it's this could enter the realm of fantasy or sci-fi art but um, every year I feel like I don't have that many pieces to submit um, sometimes I have a large chunk, but those first years I would maybe have a couple pieces, three pieces. And, um, you know, to me it was just like every other uh, big annual. It was a, a bit nerve wracking, a bit scary, hopeful. I was hopeful that I'd get in, but you never know, you know, and it definitely changes every year with the judges. So some years, some years I haven't gotten in. Uh, I think a few years ago I didn't get any pieces in. So it's, it's always, it's always a, a risk, I guess. <laughs> Getting nominated for an award or winning an award, yeah. It's um. <laughs> I've I've tried to, I've won a, a few awards now, um, in my twelve years as an illustrator, and I I. <laughs> for the first few times that I won awards, I thought I'm not worthy, you know, and. Um, it eventually it, it sort of became okay I'm, I'm used to that I guess I'm worthy um, but but still it's still there's just always this voice in the back of my head that's like you don't you're not you're not at the top <laughs> you know you got a long way to go but I think actually you know and I there's a part of me that says okay like just accept that you won an award like your piece was good enough I don't know I I like to stay in the mind frame of I have a lot of work to do. I feel like that's what keeps me going and, and moving forward. It keeps me away from, from ego territory or, or something like that. We were having a conversation about working with art directors and if that's an enjoyable experience and for some artists it's not and for some it is. For me, I like the collaboration. I like, I feel like if I am I try to be the most honest artist that I can. So I take the material, I do the best job that I can to, to sort of soak it all in and do a great job with the concept or the, the sketches and, and get that part great. Maybe the art director had some feedback in the beginning and maybe they gave me feedback as the sketch process was happening. Whatever happens, I don't, I rarely get bent out of shape with feedback for art direction because I feel like if I've done a bad job or I haven't been, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not truthful, but if I haven't been um, handling the material properly that I've been given, the, the written word, 
and I've you know, tried to go after just sort of some desire that I have uh, image-wise, then usually that's where I get into trouble and I get more feedback like, hey, like do some more sketches because these aren't working for us. And that's fine. And then I usually just say, all right, I do need to do some more work. So I'll go back to the drawing board and I will do some more sketches and turn them in. That process is great. Um, I will say that I've been very lucky and almost every single job I do, I don't get acidy revisions. I think it's just because I turn in a sketch that looks so close to my final. So I think I've been I've been lucky with that. So, I, I, I'm just doing a bunch of editorial jobs right now. Um, just finished one the day that I day before I left. So I was glad when I got I got on the airplane and, and I got the hey everything's great looks great you know no revisions okay so that's that's a good feeling. So um, that was right at the beginning of this trip and then. I'm doing a job for Rolling Stone right now. And I was saying last night, I, or maybe it was really today, I haven't worked for them for about four years, so it's kind of nice to, to get a job from them again. And um, I got an email from Newsweek the other day, so there's a potential job there. So, and yeah, just editorial stuff for right now. <laughs>